Brother Jose. Hey, sir. How are you doing? Sir? Peace and love, good brother. You got any time to slide by today? Uh, as soon as possible. How soon can you get here? Uh, what's the address? Uh, 601 East 17th Street, Wilmington. We're right around the corner from the Boys and Girls Club. 601 East 17th Street, Wilmington, Delaware. Yes, sir. We have, I need you to look at two things, Brother Jose. Uh, the first thing is the HVAC unit on our small gym has to be switched out. Okay. The company that produced the existing unit can replicate another unit. Okay. I just need to find a tech who is able to replace the unit when the new one has completed production, which will take about 60 days, the company has told me. So I need you to look at it. Let me know if you can do it. And what will the cost be for you to remove this old one, put the new one in. And the new one is going to look identical to the old one, but it's a more modern version. We're going to buy the unit. Okay, cool. okay, so that's number one. I want you to look at that. Number two is on the small school, Brother Jose. Yep. We have a roof unit that has to be replaced. Okay. We've already got the new unit produced. Okay. It is sitting in storage, but I have not been able to find a tech who can get the permit, block off the street, bring the crane, lift the new unit up on top of the school, tie it all in. So that unit has been sitting. It was delivered on November the 1st. And, that's what we do, so. and it's been sitting there for three months, Jose. So and it's the same unit. All we did was order a replica of what's up there because it was custom made. I'm not sure because it went straight to storage and I'll share with you where that is. Uh, but it's supposed to be identical. It's supposed to be identical to the one up there. It is at a crane yard and I have the address. It's not far from the school. No problem. No problem. I'm here waiting on you. Uh, keep me posted. Okay. Thanks, Jose. All right. Thank you. Yes, yes, brothers and sisters. We're trying to get the school done. We're trying to get the school done, brothers and sisters. This is a new HVAC tech. This is a new HVAC tech. I was supposed to meet my HVAC tech last week. He had to cancel. He had a situation. I was supposed to meet my HVAC tech this morning. He is a black man. He is a brother. He did not show up. So I'm sitting here outside the school because my black HVAC tech, still my brother, still love him, but he did not show up. So now I am going to Latino brothers. Okay. And uh, I need the Latino brother to come take a look at the HVAC situation. to see if he can uh, get this done. The HVAC unit for the school is sitting in storage, ready to go immediately. HVAC unit for the gym, I have not ordered it yet because I want to make sure the HVAC tech agrees that that's what we need to do. So that is the situation. We doing the best we can. We trying the best we can. Three years and we're still not ready is very disappointing. But I have to remind myself that nothing can happen before it's designated divine time. As much as I want this school to be ready, as much as I thirst for the completion of the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy, we as African people need to remain conscious of the fact that there is a divine design that will not allow things to manifest before the appropriate time. It took us Almost six years to find a school. But we found it. 
It took us almost six years to find a school, but we did find it. For a long time, I never thought we would find a school. They shut me down in Detroit. They shut me down in Mount Vernon, New York. They shut me down in Trenton, New Jersey. They shut me down from buying a school in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Chicago, they would not call me back. Ohio, they shut me down from getting to school right outside of Cleveland. So for a long time, I didn't think we would ever find a school. It took us almost six years, but we finally got a school. And it was worth the wait because we have two schools, four buildings, two gyms. It took us six years, but we got two schools, two gyms, four buildings. And although it's been three years of renovation, although I don't know why the ancestors are delaying this project, I don't know why the Most High won't manifest the help or the resources that we need to get the school done right now. I have to remain patient. There is a divine time for everything. There is a divine time for everything. There is a divine time for everything. Y'all see that HVAC unit? Y'all see that HVAC unit right there? That's the small gym HVAC unit that we trying to get replaced. Right above my head, is the small gym HVAC unit that we trying to get replaced. I had an asshole cut the wires up. I had an asshole cut the wires up in the unit because he didn't get the money he wanted for a job that he never completed. So the asshole came and cut all the wires up inside the unit. But that's all right. That's low vibration. See, one of the things we have to do, resist all attempts by spiritual vampires to ruin your day. Resist all attempts by spiritual vampires to invade your life. Resist all attempts by spiritual vampires to make their misery your misery. Resist all attempts by spiritual vampires to make their spiritual problems your spiritual problems. Resist all attempts by spiritual vampires to lower your spiritual frequency, brothers and sisters. Everybody say a prayer for the FDMG HVAC. I want everybody to pray for Dr. Umar and FDMG. Pray that this school will get renovated before the second annual festival. Please pray. You see the HVAC behind me, brothers and sisters. This HVAC unit behind me has been a stressor for three years. We need an HVAC tech to come along and help us do what we need to do. Please pray for the HVAC. I'm dead serious. Let's get this HVAC done. Please pray for a plumber that's going to come and knock out the plumbing and don't charge us an arm and a leg inside the school, brothers and sisters.